What is up everybody? It is Wick here and we are shipping out some items that I've sold on eBay and then we're going to go thrifting, look for some things we can flip. So this Geo Tracker service manual, I bought a bunch of these GM manuals at a yard sale recently. Corvette sold really quick, very well, got my money back. This is just another one I sold. This is going international. I'm not sure which country it's going to. But I sold it for $25 and I'll use the global shipping program on eBay. I'll have to ship it to Kentucky and then eBay takes over from there. Gonna ship media mail for about five bucks. Next, I got this Phase 10 dice game, a very good game to look out for. Fortunately, the packaging was in bad shape on this one, but I only paid two dollars for it at a Salvation Army, and I sold it for forty-five dollars. Sold this Craftsman planner I found at a yard sale for ten dollars. I sold it for sixty dollars plus shipping for a total of eighty-one dollars and ninety-nine cents. So about two or three years ago at a yard sale, I was digging through a tote and I came across this Raspberry Jam pocket keyboard. Paid a dollar for it, picked it up because it said American Girl. Ended up in the death pile and about two and a half years later, I finally listed it and then it took about five or six months to sell and I sold it for 50 bucks. Sold this Skeletor figure, battle damage version. I got this out of a vintage toy and jacket lot I bought online. Sold them for $35 plus shipping. Going international, I believe Canada. Buyer paid $60. So two or three months ago, I sold these Boulet boots I bought at Goodwill, paid $5 for them, and sold them for $70. However, they were returned. So I sold them again for $70 plus shipping. Next, I sold this Wise Home Starter Pack. I got this from Home Depot on clearance. Don't remember how much I paid for it, but I remember that it was going to double my money, and I sold it for $78. Got some Lowe's clearance. This well pump paid about $15, $16 for it. It's the last one. I think I got five or six of them. And I sold it for $45 plus shipping. Next, I sold these Easy Fire Sprays. I got these at Lowe's. I paid $5 a piece for them. Sold two of them here for $30 a piece. First stop of the morning, a Goodwill. Here's a tennis racket. Not really worth picking up. Some are, though, especially the brand Yonix. Badminton tennis rackets. Good money. I've picked up some in this particular Goodwill before for $0.99. Cents. I just flipped one for $139. So... Something to keep an eye out for, sports stuff, always good money. But we're in the toys looking and trying to find something rare, something unique, something that I've never seen before. I love finding things that I don't recognize, could be worth money, high-end stuff. Uh, bags, these little bags can sometimes have gems in them. Uh, you'd be surprised what some of these little toys will sell for, so we always gotta look inside those bags. Even though I tend to miss stuff. I missed, a, what was it, a Sonic the Hedgehog figure of some sort someone pointed out to me. It's about a $75 figure, you know? Now I know to keep an eye out for that. It's just, I did not know it was worth that much and didn't even recognize it in there. So, books. Got this recipe book set. You'd think it would be worth something, but you know what? It was selling, I think it was like $5 or something on Amazon for all those books. Uh, free shipping. It's just crazy to me how some people sell books for so cheap online they, they gotta be making pennies uh we got i thought this was a pager it's been so long i found one pager in the last 10 years at a thrift store and i don't understand why i don't find more pagers there used to be pagers everywhere right in the 90s everyone had a pager pretty much at least it's something i really wanted as a teenager and i finally got one and i regretted it because it was like 12 15 dollars a month to have it and i didn't have the money as a teenager to be paying that so I didn't have it too long. Uh, up here, we got some Canon photo paper. I ended up picking up those, and they sell on Amazon for pretty good money. I've actually already sold them in my last FBA shipment, so that was a good pickup, even though I didn't pick them up right there because <laughs> I'm just filming right now, trying to get some footage. And over here, what do we got? We got this snow globe type thing. I did look this up and it was selling for about $50, or I should say it was listed for about $50. Didn't look like it was really selling. I opened the box, it was not new. It looked kind of beat up, so I just passed on that. I did find this vacuum attachment though for $5.99, brand new in the box, and it's worth about $50 or more on Amazon. Got this little, oh, what is it, uh, curling set. It was broken, but see this Homedics massager? 
I passed that up the first time I was looking right at it. Probably you might have noticed it earlier. Uh, yeah, somehow I miss those sometimes. We ended up picking up that. That's a good one. Only $4.99. We are in the next Goodwill. I'm looking at some bags, backpacks, because I found a pretty good Osprey bag not too long ago. And I spot this suitcase down here. And I thought it was vintage. I flipped it over and yeah, it was vintage. And it has a cool graphic on it. Going to Grandma's house, only $2.99. I said, this has got to be worth picking up. And you know what? I've already flipped that as well. It sold fairly quick. So awesome pickup there. I love to find little unique things like that. And you know me, I love to find the vintage stuff anyway. Uh, books are looking terrible at Goodwill. They raised the price of all books uh, I don't know, and got rid of half of them. I don't know what they're thinking. Looking at some of the records here, and I don't look through all of them because uh, there's two record collectors, at least, that come in every morning and look through them. I'm just looking at the first few to see if there's anything new. Uh, they're heavily looked through. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking. Um, so we got a bunch of random stuff on these shelves I'm looking at. And I don't see any good small appliances today. Looks like an air filter or an air purifier or humidifier, I think is what I'm trying to say. And games, moving right into the toys, board games. There's an Elmo up there. There's very few Elmos worth picking up. And for some reason, it's one of those things Goodwill likes to, you know, charge $10, $15 for. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't see much at this. I did pick up a few toys here in the toys. Not this. I don't know what that is exactly. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I actually found a Lego, crushed Lego box under some of this stuff when I was digging through my second pass. And I think an action figure. Uh, just some toys in a bag, a little stomper car thing, not an actual one of those. Some of those are worth good money, but I didn't see anything in those bags today. Some plush. Uh, I love finding awesome plush, but haven't been finding anything too great. I don't know what that was in the bag, but I don't think it was worth anything. We got this Imaginex toy up here. Uh, dinosaur. I haven't been buying much Imaginex stuff, the big stuff like that. They just... They're oversaturated, they don't move, they cost a lot to ship. If they're complete and got all the pieces, all the figures, then maybe so. Looked through the shoes and found some interesting shoes I'm going to give a chance on, try to make some money. And we're going to look through the jackets, the sweatshirts real quick, see if there's anything vintage or high-end that I might want to buy to flip. Or, you know, for myself, pretty much get all my clothes at Goodwill, because why not? Or Goodwill and thrifting, I should say, not just Goodwill. Uh, but we move on. We go to Salvation Army and they put out a bunch of Stephen King books. Unfortunately, no like super good ones like, uh, what is it? The Stand. There's one I've been flipping for $75. Regardless, I still bought all those books. Uh, I'm going to make some good money on those. Uh, move on to the next Goodwill. I had that Golden Girls Clue game I thought was going to be worth more. Uh, the pieces inside are actually new, so that's pretty nice. Uh, in cap, I don't know what that is. I'm looking at it. I can't tell. Got a coffee maker up there. At least I think it was a coffee maker. You got to be careful because some of those can be high end espresso makers. They look very similar and they can be worth hundreds. So yeah, don't miss those. I never find them, but you know what? Doesn't mean you won't. Hey, looking through the toys, loose toys. Um, not seeing much. There's a weird looking troll, a dog. And I'm looking for money. Sealed board games. Uh, I don't see anything, unfortunately. Not been finding a whole lot of good sealed board games at Goodwill. And we're going to look through this clothing rack that came out at this uh, church-based thrift store. Because anything good it was probably already gone. Uh, but they go so quick that you want to make sure you check those because people are just going to buy it. Like clothes are like 50 cents here. So any good brands are just going to be gone quick. Got the shoes over here. This thrift store is expanding. They're tearing down a wall and moving into the next building as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. And they started moving some of the stuff, all the shoes together, women's shoes, men's shoes, all shoes here are a dollar. A lot of times they're half off. So they're only 50 cents. Uh, just a great thrift store overall. And they moved all the toys and games out of here, painted that, it says wet paint. But I find them over here on the ground, so I want to go through and see if there's anything 
You know, it stands out that I can pick up. Games are only 50 cents. If more thrift stores opened up like this, uh, you know, they could they'd put Goodwill out of business, right? Uh, everyone would be shopping at them. And luggage, uh, no good luggage there. We got game splat down there. There was a Jenga, Angry Birds Jenga game. It can be good. I'm pretty sure that's the same one that's been there that's missing like all the pieces. So I didn't bother to look at that. Over here, we're looking, here's a Telezapper sealed for $4. I went ahead and grabbed that. That's going to be worth some money. Um, yeah, we'll see anything else. Do you? <laughs> uh, that junk pile. Now we're in another church based thrift store. This one has really good prices too. It's just really small. And there's some games there. There's a pandemic game I ended up picking up for myself, only a dollar. This one was interesting. This, what is it, Wizards Wanted? I thought, hey, I might want that for my board game collection. I did some research on it. It's not worth a whole lot and didn't look like it was that great of a game. So I just left it there for someone else. Loose Toys. There's like a like a snow castle back there. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if I noticed it while I was there even. Um, but I don't think it was worth anything. My first glance when editing this footage, I'm like, oh no, was that a He-Man thing? But no, it wasn't. Uh, downstairs looking so small. <laughs> they, they don't put a lot of stuff out. You see their shoes. A lot of these shoes have just been sitting there for months, if not years. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Take a look at the haul. We got some cool stuff to go over. Just start back here in the corner. We got this Dragon Ball Z hat. I just picked it up at the thrift store because it was a quarter. And you know what? Maybe I'll wear it sometime at a convention. I was going to go to Dragon Con this week, but ended up not going. So, you know, maybe next convention I'll just wear it. And I picked up this Buffalo Bills hat. It was 50 cents at Salvation Army. Apparel number one. Not the greatest brand, but the logo looks really cool and unique. Vintage. So I'll probably price it at about $25. Right below it here, this Brother ML100 typewriter. It was $10 at Goodwill. It looks like the comps on these were about 100 bucks. So yeah, I went ahead and picked that up. Has an ink ribbon in it. Hopefully it works. I picked up this Homedics massager, of course. It was $4.99. I actually missed it the first time. It was right by where I was filming. I've done that before with these for whatever reason. I guess because I see them so often, they're just in my mind as being a common item. I just stare at them and I don't see them a lot of the times. Um, I see it in the live footage later. But I've picked up dozens of these over the last 10 years and they always sell. This is a good one, heated. Should be able to sell it for about $40 plus shipping. Right here I picked up some of these Snow White and the Seven Dwarves figures. I think they were dated 93. Two bags of them, $1.99. They look to be, you know, Snow White, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So two different sets. Not big money. I think I can maybe get $15 for the set. We have this sealed Star Wars Rogue One figure. It looks like it was selling for about $15 to $17. Unfortunately, I paid $3.99 for it. Uh, but yeah, I still make a little bit of money on that. I picked up this Lego set. It's brand new sealed. You can see the box has been crushed and uh, that's okay because I've actually sold boxes like this on Amazon. I sell them as like new, state that they're sealed. They just bo got box damage. I sold a small box set like this one time for a hundred bucks crushed like this on Amazon. Of course, it was a more rare set than this one. This one only sells for about $30 new on Amazon. I'll be able to price this about $25 and it'll still sell. This is a kind of a cool find. This going to grandma's suitcase, vintage, only $2.99. It's in really good shape. Comps on these were kind of random, anywhere between $20 and $60. There's two different designs I noticed and this one seems to be a bit more rare. In this clean of condition, I'm pricing this probably $50 plus shipping. Just gonna let it sit until, you know, some grandma buys it for their grandchild. Right here, I picked up this random vacuum attachment, uh, $6.99. You can see there was a $49 price tag on it. Selling on Amazon for $60, so that's probably where I'm gonna sell it. This is one of those items that, you know, you see sometimes thrift stores or Goodwill price up, but it makes no sense pricing this, you know, $40, $50 in a Goodwill, because it's gonna take a unicorn to come in that needs this exact attachment and is willing to even pay that price. So that's where resellers come in. Uh, they can price it $6.99. We come in, we buy it, and then we sell it somewhere else, and everybody wins in the end. It's the same with a lot of ink and stuff like that. It just doesn't do well sitting in a store to price that up because who's gonna buy that stuff? You have to have the right person just come in at the right time. So price it low, move it, make money, Goodwill. Then I picked up this Canon Photo Paper Glossy. 
Uh, two dollars a piece for these. Got three of them. It looks like I make about twelve dollars a piece on Amazon. Pretty good pickup. Got this Simpsons Bartman figure. Unfortunately, it has been opened at Salvation Army. Uh, two ninety nine. Look like open like this. I could probably sell it for about twenty bucks. Telezapper for four dollars. Um, I looked up the comps on this. I don't remember now what they were. Or where I was even selling it. I assume this is something I don't want to sell on Amazon. It's probably, well, as seen on TV, they usually do IP claims on that kind of stuff. Seems like it was maybe selling for $20 or something on Amazon. I'll just throw it on the screen how much I expect to make. Moving right along, we got some shoes I picked up at Goodwill. I did pay $6.99 for them, but you can see how, well, I'm pretty sure they're unworn. They're answer two shoes, and I only bought them because they're 4E wide. Uh, they're in such good condition. I've never actually sold this brand that I can remember. They look a lot like the Sash shoes and Dr. Comfort. It was the same with these, uh, $6.99. These are Mount Emery. And some of these shoes were selling very expensive, over $100 new. This particular model, not so much. I'm probably going to price these, I don't know, between $30 and $40 plus shipping, and they should move. Picked up this for a dollar at a thrift store. It's just a pandemic game. I heard it was a good game. I still haven't played it. I have one sealed. Uh, I might even have a used one somewhere. They're not big money, but at a dollar, I want to pick it up. Uh, at least put it in the board game collection. And we got this clue, the Golden Girls. I thought this was going to be worth more money. It must be a newer game. I'll still make about $15 on it on Amazon. It's in extremely good condition. And then finally, we got some books, some Stephen King books. You can see at Salvation Army, paid a dollar a piece for these. Misery, probably the best book. I think I can sell this by itself for about $30. It's first edition. Uh, maybe Insomnia, I can get $15, $20 bucks for. Might sell that one separate. The rest will go in a lot. I'll wait until I get about 10 Stephen King books and I sell them for about uh, $65 plus shipping. Then I picked up this Game of Thrones paperback set. It was half off and the guy seemed confused that there was no price on it because they usually price book sets up at Salvation Army. It's actually a Twilight set there. They went $35 for it, which is just insane. I might pick it up when it goes to a dollar, but not paying $35. And a Harry Potter set missing the first book they wanted $25 for. But this book set, uh, it's not big money new. On Amazon, I think it's only about $30 new. On eBay, I noticed some sets, though, were selling for about $20 plus shipping. Media Mail, this only cost about $5 to ship. Since it was half off, I only paid $2.50 for it because each book was normally a dollar and then half of that. That's right. Correct? One, two, yeah. $2.50 is what I paid for it. But there it is, everybody. That's the haul for today. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button for me on the way out. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. If you've watched more than one of my videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. This has been Wick. Until next time.